Explain why you are the Constitution. You were in the I am not looking for him in the place that he might be. I am not. He's in region. He's in the region. We can't find anybody in the region. I want a sergeant. I want a sergeant. Because I want a sergeant to see him. I want a sergeant to see him. You know for a fact this man is under the influence of something. I have a party here requesting for a sergeant. You know he's under the influence of something. Okay. Hey, if I held my finger up and told you to follow my finger, could you do it? What's wrong with Dave Duxanus? You're high as dude. So I understand you guys are upset and frustrated. You brought a high cop to my house. I'm frustrated. You guys walked to my mom's house. Look at this. Hey, can I get your name and badge number? Can I get your name and badge number? Who? Officer Shepard 2075. Officer Shepard what? 2075. 2075. On January 23rd, 2023, the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department initiated an internal affairs investigation stemming from a widely viewed videotape interaction between one of our officers and a resident during a call for service. KCK Police Chief Carl Oakman acknowledged that he was aware of the footage published by the defender along with the officer's conduct, department officials said back in late January. The cop, who remains nameless, had been placed on administrative leave while the department led the investigation. The officer was responding to a call over a child custody dispute in Wyandotte County, Kansas. He appeared to be in bad shape to say the very least. Well, according to Kansas City Star, quote, based on that investigation, it was determined that there was no wrongdoing on the part of that officer. Privacy laws, both state and federal, prohibit the department from telling us exactly what was going on with that officer, who appeared clearly impaired on the night in question. The officer passed a fit for duty examination conducted by several medical professionals, department officials said. With that in mind, who's the officer? What was wrong with him? What did this examination consist of? Transparency is lacking. This man could have and could still be a danger to the community. Kansas City Defender said it best. Whether it was drugs or a medical condition is truly besides the point considering the partner cop and sergeant both refused to acknowledge his dangerous behavior and allowed him to remain present with a deadly weapon. See, this is the Kansas City, Kansas General Order for Code of Ethics. In section 13, it says, officers have a duty to intervene when they see another officer do one, two, or all three of these things. Officers are required to report police misconduct that they observe when the misconduct violates the law or any policy related to professional integrity or use of force. If this officer's conduct didn't violate a law or policy, then there's something wrong with the laws and policies. With all of the drug arrests in this country, if this KCK officer was truly high out of his mind, he should have been arrested too. This seems like a failure of the police policing themselves. X-Men comics prove that trans people are the heroes. How this Republican can claim to watch Marvel movies and miss that point is beyond me. See how he made himself the villain by clicking the video link in the description. Also, use the Jeff Wiggins hashtag to find me. My architect knows Japanese.